Mozambique is battling one of its worst cholera outbreaks in more than 20 years. In the aftermath of Cyclone Freddy, which first made landfall in late February, the number of cases grew exponentially to over 27,000 across the country's 11 provinces. Cholera is a diarrheal disease that is usually spread through contaminated water and is especially dangerous to pregnant women. CGTN's Julie Shire visited Kwelimani in the Zambezi province and filed this report. Sidale Juan gave birth just days after Cyclone Freddy made landfall in Mozambique. Sidale's home village in Kilimani barely recovered from the storm when cholera took hold. Cholera has killed many in this village. We would like the government to help us. We lack clean water and many things. Cholera killed many and the cyclone damaged many things. Many people lost everything they had. The country was in the midst of a cholera outbreak which exploded after Freddy hit. Crumbling water infrastructure was wiped out and swept into rivers, along with raw sewage from poor sanitation. Kilimani is a low-lying city. It's a swamp, so it, the water tables are very high, so, and sewage and water were all you know, mixed. So that also brought a challenge in terms of trying to combat cholera and people were fetching water from these uh, contaminated uh, water sources. Many hospitals and clinics were also damaged, making it difficult to treat the sick. This emergency response hospital set up by the World Health Organization Doctors Without Borders and the United Nations was treating over 400 fresh cases a day. The things are now under control. The bed was not enough because the number was very, very, very high. This is a case of success. We have below oh, 20 cases in the last two, two weeks. It means in one month uh, from the out control uh, of cholera outbreak, it uh, became under control. It's not easy. I was uh, working more than 18 hours per day. Mass vaccination drives and community outreach programs have played a part in stemming new infections. We see uh, a theatre performance made by Group Teatros Retratistas, which is one of our partners here in Kilimani. It's not only to bring the vaccines, but also uh, um, work with the community through different uh, community platforms to create awareness and, and create demand for the vaccination. Elsewhere in Mozambique, it still remains bleak as healthcare workers battled the worst outbreak in 20 years. More investment is needed to improve water and sanitation systems to rid the country of cholera entirely. Until then, millions of Mozambicans remain at risk when the rains return. Julie Shara, Kilimani, Zambezi Province, Mozambique.